I am here with Tom from the Hampshire Flag Company. Tom, tell me, whereabouts are you guys based? Uh, we're based in Hampshire. And um, what is it that you do? We manufacture flags. You do exactly what it says on the flag. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I insisted that we do that. I do apologise to Tom and to your entire company. But um, just, just put a little bit more meat on the bones there. Um, you're based down in Waterlooville in Hampshire and you do flags, but a few other things as well. Tell me more. So we're traditionally a flag manufacturer for the MOD, but we are also a large format digital printer. Now there's a lot of Ministry of Defence down there on the south coast, particularly around Hampshire, isn't there? Yes, a hell of a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, as well as having the contract for them, uh, there's lots of other interesting um, setups that you manufacture uh, materials and, and prints for as well. Yes, yeah, so we do a lot for sort of music festivals and we supply cafe barriers, as you can see to the side. Well, let's take a look. So follow us. Um, you've kind of got a, a CMY cafe here and this is all stuff that you guys have made, apart from the coffee machine. Yeah, apart from the coffee machine, everything here we make. So bespoke tablecloths, like I said earlier, the cafe barriers and all the print in the background. And also you brought your own beach with you as well. Yes. Come over here. Because this is, I'm not going to lie, Birmingham's great on a rainy day like today, but I'd much rather I was where this is suggesting as well. Chat me through the barrier wraps that you've got around here. So the barrier wraps, this is what we'd normally do for them sort of music festivals. They're just made out of an air mesh material, so obviously they're not taking a hit from the wind. Mm, good sound. And um, you've got some quite large prints, and also it's worth mentioning, as well as printing on material, you guys have done... The, the wrap for the uh, flats here as well? Yeah, so that's just on an SAV and then it's applied to a Fomex. Now, your, your printing uh, based, like we said, in, in Hampshire, uh, talk to me about blacks. We were ch chatting about your process and why you are fairly unique. Yes, so we can present, uh, sorry, we can print 100% black. Uh, afterwards, we wash it so that it's not as re uh, effective to the US, uh, U I'm losing my words now, uh, to uh, UV. Yeah. So the colour will stay in the flag a lot longer. And that means that the stuff that you're printing has got much more longevity, which means one-off festivals, events is good, but also longer term usage outside as well. Yeah, much more for the long term events. As, as we were saying earlier with the MOD, obviously the flags are out of sea for a long period of time, so yeah. the colour needs to stay in them. Right then, let's head all the way back down here again because not only do we have a chance to uh, have a coffee in your pretend cafe and pretend that we're at the beach, but you're also running a competition this year here, Tom. Tell me more about your competition. So the competition is that you just need to put on your business card uh, how many orders you think we've completed in the last five years. Now, you've done enough hand waivers to fill Wembley Stadium twice over enough bunting to stretch from London to Rome. That's an awful lot of printing. That is, it is a lot of printing. The amount of orders we go through, especially with bunting, where our bunting's completely bespoke and we can put anything on it, we do go through a lot. Fantastic. So we've got some bunting just here. You should rename yourselves to the Hampshire Bunting Company. Maybe they have, have that as an official subdivision. Listen, Tom, thank you very much for joining us today and having a bit of a giggle. Uh, fantastic that you're here at the show, and I hope it works very well for you. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Cheers.